Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 36, IBM XWork Server. Time to get to XWork. Audience ISVs. Okay, today I want to talk about the, the announcements that are happening today uh, about the brand new uh, IBM XWork server. Uh, so this is a different kind of show for me. I don't really have a demo today. I just want to uh, kind of just get something out there. There's a lot of blogs going out about this, uh, which is where I'm actually getting some of this information. So I'm kind of hoping uh, what I'm reading is, is totally correct. And I've uh, interpreted it properly. So what is it? Well, we've got a brand new server announced today uh, over at edbrill.com. And it's a, it's built on Domino 8.5.3. And what it is, it's an XPages application server and also a Domino application server. So it's not just limited to, to XPages. So that was that's kind of new. I didn't really expect that. Um, and it's designed for an ISV. So you build an app, you can sell an app a lot easier. Um, and and that's that's its target market. And and how is it different? Well, the big difference is no Lotus name. It's it's an IBM XWorks server. So um, ideally, what I think the thinking is 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 you can go into your customer and say, hey, I've got this solution, and they ask what what does it run on? And, and really, you don't have to say Lotus and Domino, which might uh, might. Uh, not make them happy or put them off for, for some reason because they're uneducated. Um, but you can just say it runs on an IBM server um, because that's what it is. And it's a fixed term server per install. So there's no PVUs to deal with, no cows to deal with, US dollars, 2000, 2000 US dollars, uh, an annual license for this, which uh, makes it nice and easy. Um, it's not available for all the platforms like the AS400 System I or, or whatever it's called anymore and and the the X server or server X or whatever IBM calls that I, I never even knew um, but but those aren't the target market you know it's it's kind of like uh, I, I think um, and I could be wrong it's you either drop a box in at your customer or you host it yourself um, so so probably the lin the, the Linux and, and Windows servers are you know your, your best bet there um, okay, now there are some restrictions to it, uh, but it's not as bad as, as I thought. It's, it's, it kind of does look look pretty decent. Um, so it's you can run four applications on it, and applications is, is defined as four NSF files to make up one application. So by default, you can have up to sixteen custom NSF files on the server. You know, four each. Um, system NSFs don't count, like log and web admin but I believe and I could be wrong here but I believe the social applications NSFs count so like the blog template is not really a system application um, so if you actually put a blog on that that would take care of one of your NSF files but there is an option I think it's it's for an additional two thousand dollars or or four thousand dollars per box that lets you go up to eight applications per server um, and and I believe I saw on Stuart McIntyre's blog that that if you do this, you can get actually go up to eight NSFs per application. Um, so that's that's kind of interesting. It's probably not a lot more money to get a lot more power, especially if you if you're doing some hosting and stuff. I would think. Um, you you can have mail in databases, uh, but you can't run user mail. Uh, on this server, which is very similar to, I think, the exp the Utility Express and, and ut Utility the server uh, offerings. Um, and and the, I think I've seen on, on Ed's site or so, there there a couple hints that there may be some flexibility. So if you want to do something uh, a little different that, that's a little outside that this, the scope of this, um, that, that, you know, IBM may be willing to work with you to kind of like tweak things to, to a custom need. Um, so, so this is really kind of exciting stuff. I, I don't know if, if it's it's a great server yet for hosting. If you know, if you wanted to host, you know, fifty di people's different blogs, um, but maybe that's that that will come out a little later on. Um, but it's designed for you to to build, get your app into uh, your your customers' hands, and and that's that's really kind of exciting without having to worry about some of the domino overhead. So just kind of treat it on an app level. Um, um, another thing, and which, which I'm not a hundred percent sure of, but but, but I'm, I'm I thought I saw a post where where you could go, you know, this XWork server can talk to other Domino servers, um, so that may be uh, a benefit if, if Domino's already in there to, about this 
about getting past this this four NSF file restriction if need be. And another thing I've not seen yet is what about you know SQL databases? If you drop a uh, an SQL database, you know, with with the new X pages, you know, d database connectors and stuff like that, um, how that works or so. But I'm I'm hoping that. Uh, that it can just basically talk to anything. Um, so that really would give you a lot of flexibility in, in this, I think. So uh, I don't have a lot of information on this yet because it's just coming coming across the wire today. Um, but if you do want more information, there there's already a bunch of posts on plantlotus.org. Um, Ed Brills has a post out um, with the link here. And, and I have it on pretty good authority that there will be a Taking Notes podcast uh, that will cover this uh, more in details. So, so exciting stuff, and and I want to thank IBM for this. It's um, something I've kind of been wanting to have. You know, I want I want to be the ability to write an application and and put it out there, and whether sell it or or, or do it. Um, and, and there might be other you know developers like me who aren't full ISVs yet, but might want to dabble in that world. Um, so I, I'm really excited about this. Um, so that's that's it for today. We'll get back to tips next show. Um, I'm going to keep doing the X pages thing here. And if you have any questions, um, here's my contact information. Thank you for your time.